Hey everyone, Jason here. Today we're gonna to take a look at my latest kinetic sculpture, which is this model of Apollo, the god of light, sun, archery, and a bunch of other things. And here he is riding in his chariot, being pulled by a couple of horses. I'm really happy with how this model came together. I especially like how all the gold trim on the chariot and the wheels turned out. I think it ended up looking quite sharp. Obviously the main component of the motion here is the running of the horses, but I also added some movement to the chariot, which rocks slightly on its axle. And also to the figure itself, which moves in tandem with the chariot, but the motion is a little bit dampened, which I think makes it seem a little bit more natural. If you are familiar with some of my older models, you may remember a previous horse I designed all the way back in 2014, which is this one. And this model was largely Technic based and had an internal drive mechanism which really had a large impact on the overall look of this model. And I always kind of had it in the back of my mind that I wanted to revisit this model of a horse and build a more system style of horse. And finally about a year ago I started to tinker with a new design which eventually ended up with this. And when we take a look at these horses the most obvious difference is that they are primarily made up of system bricks which allowed me to use all of these nice curved slopes to capture the shaping of a horse. What allowed me to do that is that the drive system for the legs is operating externally instead of internally. There's a crankshaft that runs beneath the horses with rods connected to the hoof of each leg which control their position and orientation. And the motion of each leg is just a result of the constraints imposed by the joints. And just like in the previous model, I tried to encapsulate some of the more subtle aspects of the motion of a running horse, including the rocking of the body, the forward thrust of the head, and the flick of the tail. And let's take a closer look at how all of that works. So the main support is stationary and the crankshaft runs through it about halfway up. And we're just going to put one side of the horse on, which is mounted on a pin at its belly so that it is free to tilt forwards and backwards. Next we'll add a way to control that tilt using this simple pair of lift arms so that the tilt can be controlled through an axle exposed on the other side of the body. And that axle is where we are going to connect the rear leg so that the tilt of the body is controlled through the movement of that leg. Next we'll add the front leg. The head and the neck assembly is flexible and the bottom of it is mounted to the stationary stand and the top is mounted at a point at the front shoulders so that as the body tilts the neck deforms and the head is pushed forward and pulled back. The tail is mounted on a pin at the back of the body and the base of the tail just rests on the stationary stand. As a result again, as the body tilts, the tail moves as well. The left side of the body is just mirrored from the right and the legs are mounted in the exact same way. They are just driven from a crank that is offset 90 degrees from the crank that drives the right legs. Now, if you know your way around horses and their gates, you will notice that these horses are not really technically galloping. The gait is much closer to a canter, where the second rear hoof is placed at the same time as the first front hoof. So these horses are definitely not letting it all out and galloping at full pace. And that's just a side effect of the simpler mechanism that I'm using. But I really do love this mechanism since it did allow me to shape the horses with system bricks. And it's also just a much simpler and more reliable design, which has a pretty big impact to the performance of the model. Especially when you're running it for six to eight hours a day at a show. The more complex the mechanism, the more opportunity there is for things to go wrong, things to bind and wear down and come loose over time. And I've already had this model running at two full weekend events with no problems whatsoever, which is really awesome. And that's about it for this model. I hope you enjoyed the model and the video. As always, thanks for watching, keep on building, and I'll see you in the next one.